Back in 2011, China was banned from the International Space Station. Political differences and intellectual property were the root causes of a ban on China. And now, China is building its own space station to have their say in the space race. No one could have thought that China can build its own space station by 2022. Hello, and welcome to Stuff Box Tech. In this video, we will take a close look on how and why China is building their new Tiangong space station. So, let's talk about the name of the space station. Tiangong means heavenly palace. A nice name, isn't it? I always wonder how it looks like to be in space. Is it really like heaven? Enough about the nomenclature. Let's talk about the space station. After being kicked out of the ISS based on political differences, the rising Asian superpower believes in their scientists and launched their own space station. It is believed that the Tiangong space station, once completed, can be roughly one-fifth of the ISS. Also, it will be bigger than the Russian space station, Mir. The core module named Tianyi, Harmony of the Heaven, was launched on April 29, 2021. The core capsule is about the size of a bus, and it contains a life support and control system. It is worth mentioning that the capsule is the biggest and heftiest spacecraft China has ever built. It contains the life support for three Taikonauts, astronauts in Chinese. Tianhe was launched on April 29, 2021 from Hainan Island. It launches along Mark 5B rockets. These rockets include one core stage and four boosters, each of which is approximately 28 meters tall and more than three meters broad, the height of a nine-story building. When fully fueled, the Long Mark 5B weighs around 850 tons and can transport a 25-ton payload into low Earth orbit. However, the enormous core stage of the rocket weighs 20 tons, went out of control. The international community raised criticisms over the absence of a control system for the return of the rocket to the Earth. Tianhe made it to orbit successfully, despite the mishap regarding space control. Its solar panels started operating and the module powered up an hour and 13 minutes after launch. It is worth mentioning that the Tiangong Space Station is a part of the program that already had produced Tiangong 1 and Tiangong 2 launched in 2011 and 2016, respectively. A successor of these two space laboratories, the researchers of this program have reflected their experience on the previous two space laboratories. Now you might be wondering, where is Tianhe right now? Tianhe is presently in low Earth orbit, approximately 400 kilometers above the ground waiting for the first of 10 scheduled supply flights to complete the Tiangong station over the following 18 months. Wenchen, Quest for the Heavens, and Mengchen, Dreaming of Heavens, are two experiment modules set to launch in 2022. Even though China is building the station alone, nine other countries have already agreed to fly tests on Tiangong. Which leads us to the timeline of this project. So here is the complete timeline of this space station, September 29, 2011, Tiangong-1 was launched to perform operations like carrying out the docking and experiments in orbit. However, not long after, the space station has created its operations and entered the Earth orbit in April 2018. November 1, 2011, the spacecraft named Senshu-8 was launched. Divine Vessel, or the Shenshu, was modeled like the Soyuz spacecraft designed and functioned by the Soviet Union in the 1960s. June 16, 2012, the Senshu-9 spacecraft was launched with three astronauts aboard. It docked with Tiangong-1 two days later, where the three astronauts lived and worked for about two weeks, marking a significant achievement in gaining technological and logistical abilities and experience in operating a space station. June 11, 2013, the Senshu-10 started its operation with three astronauts on board. They lived 15 days on Tiangong-1 and performed their operations. September 15, 2016, a new space lab, named after the first one, Tiangong-2, launched, and the space lab entered the Earth's atmosphere on July 19, 2019, after fulfilling its experiments. October 17, 2016, the Senshu-11 launched, carrying two male astronauts and later docked with the Tiangong-2. They have performed the required experiments in 30 days. April 20, 2017, the Tianzhou-1, or Heavenly Vessel, China's first cargo resupply spacecraft, was launched. Following that, 
the autonomous spacecraft docked with Tiangong-2. April 29, 2021. China launched Tianhe, or Harmony of the Heavens, a crucial module of its future space station. May 28, 2021. The Tianzhou-2 was launched by China. The crewless cargo spacecraft will bring provisions and propellant to future astronauts. June 17, 2021. The Asian superpower has launched Shenshu-12, carrying three astronauts. These astronauts will stay for three years and perform critical operations. 2022. China will launch the Wenchen Lab Capsule 1 and the Minchin Lab Capsule 2. So we are halfway done to this video. If you are enjoying the video, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Now let's see how the Tiangong Space Station compares to the International Space Station. The design of Tiangong provides great flexibility. Different components can be added or removed from the existing structure of the space station as different components were launched at different times, just like the ISS. Experts believe that the weight of the space station will be around 60 metric tons by 2022, which is one-fifth of the mass of the ISS. According to NASA, the ISS has a total habitable volume of 13,696 cubic feet. On the contrary, the China Academy of Space Technology claims the total habitable volume of the Tiangong will be 3,884 cubic feet. According to NASA, more than 30 missions are required to assemble the construction of ISS, while for Tiangong, a dozen missions will be needed. The major difference is the construction time span, as ISS took more than 10 years to complete and perform operations while the Chinese government is looking to build it within two years. As per Reuters, the Tiangong space system will be fully functional by 2022. Tiangong will orbit the Earth at the height of 211 to 280 miles above the surface, which is similar to the ISS's normal altitude of 250 miles. The Chinese space station is intended to be utilized for a period of 10 years. However, the mission may be extended. The ISS has been occupied for over 20 years, making it the longest continuous presence in low Earth orbit. As the comparison is made, let's just talk about why China is building its own space station. The International Space Station is a global endeavor, even though the mass majority of its inhabitants are from the United States and Russia. Countries like Canada, Brazil, the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, Germany, Belgium, South Korea, Malaysia, Japan, and others have all sent astronauts to the ISS. The omission of China from this list is notable, and the reason is simple. The United States did not want it there. Section 1340 of the 2011 Department of Defense and Full Year Continuing Appropriations Act, which established rules and funding for defense and other U.S. government agencies for the fiscal year, states that NASA may not use funds from that division to collaborate in any way with China unless a law expressly authorizes it. The space station is crucial to Xi Jinping's vision of China being a space power in every respect, a global leader in scientific endeavors, economic activity, and military force in space. China's space program has gone from a handful of scientists launching a satellite from the Gobi Desert to become a major source of prestige and legitimacy for the Communist Party half a century after it was established. It is important for space technology as they have a new competitor, and they will compete with each other, but eventually, space technology will win. I also want to quote Henry Kaiser quotation as, taste the relish to be found in competition, in having put forth the best within you. Henry Kaiser. And that's it for today, guys. Now, I want to turn it over to you. Do you think that Chinese space technology will take over the ISS in the future? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now. Do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for interesting tech videos every week. More cool stuff is coming on the channel. Just stay tuned.